welcome to <laughs> welcome to Chicago, 1926. I have to say, you do look absolutely amazing dressed like that. Thank you very why, much. Why are you dressed up like that? I've been dragged out of our Christmas pantomime. Uh, fine. <laughs> this is 1926. We're meant to be in Chicago. Yes, there you is that. You haven't been born yet. No, there is that as well. <laughs> yeah. Do you find that the reality of life has now passed you by since we caught you on the roadshow? Well, unfortunately, as you can see, this is what I've been... A little bit of a downturn in, in the Schofield fortunes. Ever since that day, life has not I been thought you carried it off very well. Normally, the roadshow would have a very active... High profile warm up, sure. a lot of leaping around sure. and whatever. And it's very important that I am on my feet and mobile and active during the warm up. Jolly good. Well, of course, we did introduce you to one of the world's finest magicians. Yes. Um, and he has a big problem uh, with a key. Yeah, I tell you what, Philip, let's have a little look at it, shall the we? Worst moment of my life. <laughs> against my better judgment but I thought well there's a lot of people in here who would like to see my head come off what are you going to do yes yes of course you may show the trip carry on Fine. morning everybody I thought I wasn't gonna make it because I kept seeing spots before the eyes Hold on. Of course, yes, he needs both hands for the trick. Sometimes three like that. I went to my doctor, he said, do you ever see four or one? I said, no, only six and three. He said, if you saw four and one like that, I could cure you like that, but he didn't. Went down to local, knocked back so many, well, I haven't got rid of the spots, at least I'm happy. That's it, that's the one. Is that it? Yeah. Great. He's good, isn't he? Oh, look at this. I'm getting a little nervous now, just between you and me. <laughs> Have you ever lost anybody, sir? Uh, it works about three times out of four. <laughs> How many times have you done it this week? Three so far. <laughs> Oh, a lot of people would have liked to have seen me come to an end like this, but... I think if you're going to do it, you've got to do it in front of 20,000 people. <laughs> well, see, I'll just put, just put my fan letters in here and I'll read them later. It'll be more use round the back. <laughs> when it comes to the clock, but I can't see my watch here. If the, if the jingle suddenly starts... The... Does that same key do both sides? Yeah, the same key does all four lots for me. A show to do tonight, and I can't go at my show with this bloke in my guillotine. Is he joking or what? <laughs> um, Philip, can't you ad lib or something? Not from down here, I can't. <laughs> hey, I, I bet, I bet Tony Blackburn would have a good joke to tell. I bet, I bet he would. Are there any locksmiths around? Could someone go and get a locksmith? That, that's really awesome, uh, those big cutters, you know, those... Help! 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 It's only for that locksmith. I can't, I can't keep him wound up if I'm down here all day. <laughs> 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 
starts, I'm relying on you to keep the atmosphere going on your own, all right? <laughs> Listen, it's quite obvious I'm not going to get out of it before the beginning of the program. Here are the pips. Really go for it, okay? Saturday Roadshow, your summer got your Oscar. <laughs> Only one person would jeopardise the beginning of the programme, and that's Noel Edmonds. <laughs> I, I think the most extraordinary thing about it was that everyone at Radio 1, from the controller Johnny Beerling downwards, was in on it. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> Philip Schofield, got your offer. Thank you, Philip. Yeah, very good. 